Hi! Um, today I am doing something different. I am shopping my stash and I'm going to do a review. Um, just a disclaimer, there might be some items um, in this look that I'm sharing with you that um, are no longer available. Um, my reasoning behind still filming and still showing you guys this product is A, it might not be a great product or something might be amiss, um, and two, if you do happen to have it in your collection, then maybe this will inspire you to pull out your palette and or product and um, use it along up with me. So without further ado, um, thank you to my second, um, coming to my second video, and if you don't follow me, please follow me on YouTube, like, um, I am on TikTok and Instagram at Swatches by Fish also. Would love to have you there and have continued conversation and let's be friends. So, um, okay. The first, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the makeup that I used and then kind of a first impression and then I'll check back in with you or maybe not a first impression but a beginning review and then come back to you guys a little bit later and show you how everything wore throughout the day. So, um, first I'll try to go in order of what I used the products in. <laughs> um, there's this BH Cosmetics um, Dessert Oasis palette and here is what it looks like. And um, this is no longer sold on the BH Cosmetics website. Um, however, I think there probably are similar um, palettes, and if you are curious, I can help you look if you do end up really liking any of these colors. Again, this is what the palette looks like. And um, on my eyes today, I am using a plethora of colors. <laughs> I'm using um, Nightscape, this brown, um, on the inner corner and the outer corner. Um, I used Prickly Pear, this brown here, um, to kind of blend and transition a little bit more, a little outer of the inner and outer corner. And then in the middle, I put um, Turquoise, this top one right here. Um, I put that on the middle of my lid. Um, and then I used Bliss, this highlighter shade on top and I kind of just like rounded out the tops um, in, with that color just to kind of make it pop a little bit more. So that's what I used on this Oasis palette. Um, my first impressions, again I've used this palette before so it's not really first impressions but um, I, I feel like it came out a little bit muddy um, just with the colors. Uh, it, this could have been a user error. Um, I think it looks okay. Um, and so far it's wearing fine, so I don't know if this will be worth keeping, but I guess when I check in later I can let you guys know what my decision is and we can go from there. Next up, um, I used the, um, I used the, let me find it, I used the Stretch Concealer by Glossier in the shade, and I'm very pale, <laughs> uh, G11. And I actually love this concealer. I think it's absolutely wonderful. The hype is worth it. So I'll continue to use this. This isn't like an old product by any means. So this will continue to be in my like, you know, day to day mix. Um, I did use this hourglass um, foundation stick in porcelain, the Vanish foundation stick. Um, I still have like a good amount of product left, but I've used this plenty of times. Um, and then I used this Spencer times My Beauty brand. Um, I mixed this, it's called a Plexiglass Illuminator. I mixed that in with the, um, foundation on my hand and applied it with like a foundation brush. I think that this is pretty um, on its own. Let me show you. Let me swatch this out. 
So it does give nice illumination. Um, I'm not really seeing a difference in my skin though. Um, it does look pretty illuminated, my skin, but I don't know if it was this or like a highlight. Um, so it's okay. Um, again, let's check in later and see where we're at with it. But I used those two products on my face. Um, I used this, next I used the Monsieur Big from Lancome. Here, let me show you the brush and how that looks. It's a pretty interesting big brush. Um, let me show you a close-up of my mascara. I do like this mascara. I actually picked up like several of these like back when they were having a sale like a year or two ago. Um, so I still, I, I think this is one of the last tubes that I'm on. Um, I will use it just to use it, but I probably won't be repurchasing. So that one is a little bit of a uh, spoiler alert that. Um, so that was the mascara I wore today. Um, next up is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Um, it has like a spoolie on one end, and then on the other end, it's a pencil that you kind of just push up. Um, so this product, I think that it's a good product. It does kind of bring out a little bit more of like red on me and my brows, like in the brown. And I'm more of a like taupe cool fan of like my brows. Like I used to fill them in with like a gray product. Um, so I'm not the biggest fan. It does work some days. I, I do have my hair dyed and it is like red. The base is red. I do have blonde in it. Um, but it is red. So like some days it looks okay. Other days it's just kind of is what it is. It's just what I grabbed. So, um, yeah, I guess I could check in with that later too, but overall, um, I think I have other brow products that I like more. Um, next up, I know that this is discontinued and this is probably a little bit older. I really want to hit pan on this. This is the Lorac, Lorac, um, Aura bra, blonde. Can I talk today? I don't know. Um, blush. So this is the shade, and let me show you this swatched. It's actually a really beautiful color. Um, it's it's stunning. I have that on today. Um, I I mean, spoiler alert. I I do like this. That's why it's still here in my collection. So that's good. Um, I don't think I cheated, but I did use a new product for my contour. Um, I used this little milk guy in Toasted for the Sculpt Stick. So look how tiny that is. This is my hand. My hand is very tiny. Um, this is how big it is. So I mean, I think what I had heard on the internet, which I take with a grain of salt, but they're apparently trying to use less packaging, so you're still getting the, like, amount in the bigger sticks just concentrated in, like, this little guy. Um, I'm not sure how true that is. I would definitely look that up if you're interested. But, I mean, like, just him being this little, it's great for travel. I'm trying to look at the positives. Um, but it was a little disappointing opening it up and being like, wow, this is so tiny. Um, but you really could get in there and, and you know... Um, it's, it's a great product so far. I do like it. I think it looks nice on. I'll definitely continue to be lo working with this. Um, so that was, again, the Sculpt Stick in Toasted from Milk. Um, two more things. Actually, three more, technically. Um, from this BH Cosmetics palette, from that one that we discussed before, Desert Oasis, um, I used a highlight in Serenity. So it's this pink. I use that and um, it does kind of show texture, which I'm not a huge fan of. Everyone has texture though, so it's okay. Um, I'll get closer. It does um, reflect the light, which is nice. And I'm sorry that my computer keeps going off. Um, so the last two products um, that I used to complete my makeup today were the Sephora 
Rouge Gel Lip Liner in It's Cherry. I can open this. I can. There it is. It's like this true red. Um, can you swatch it? It's like a red, but pulls like a little bit blue. Um, so I used that to line my lips today, and it went on great. And then I used this like mini from Huda, Huda, from Huda Beauty that I have. Um, it's in the shade Famous. It's that color, and this is how it looks on the lips. I like it. Um, I'm excited to see how it wears. I've worn Huda like many times and I've even worn this lipstick before so um, just a little reminder for myself when figuring out if I want to keep any of these items or donate slash get rid of. Um, for the older things I'll get rid of um, but if they can be salvageable um, possibly uh, donate. So that was everything I had on my face. I will check in in a little while and then We'll talk through what I'm keeping and what I'm not. So it's the end of the day now. <clears throat> and I wanted to report back on the few items that I was like on the fence about. Um, I think in earlier in earlier in the video, I kind of explained um, some of them were like going to stay. Um, but... I think one of the like biggest what ifs was this palette right here, that BH Cosmetics palette. And I think that the eyeshadow has worked pretty well. Um, I think it looks like decent. Nothing like too crazy, nothing like I'm not super impressed by the colors or anything like that, but they wear nicely. I didn't realize how old this palette was um, until I like looked up like where it was like if it was being sold still or whatnot so I might just keep this like for my personal collection and not use it for videos or to like recommend obviously because you can't get it anymore so if you have this palette um you know this is a look that I created or if you have a palette similar and you know you're being reminded of it now hopefully you can you know pull it out and be reminded um to either work with it or I don't know, discard it or what have you. So anyway, that was the eyeshadows. Um, the foundation, I don't think I was on the fence about and like that. The Monsieur Big oh, from Lancome, I know I said, spoiler alert, like I'm not gonna repurchase it, but it actually smudged on me today, which I don't really recall it doing ever in the past, which is not a good look. So I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of this sooner than I had anticipated. Um, still on the fence about that. Um, this, my beauty brand, the plexiglass illuminator that I discussed prior, um, I'm just, it didn't do anything for me really. So I think I'm just going to get rid of it. Honestly, I think it's just taking up space in my collection right now. And I just, I don't need it. So I think I'm going to be getting rid of that. And then the two lip products, um, the liner and It's Cherry and then the Huda Beauty um, Famous it worked great. I think that my makeup looks pretty good after eating and drinking um, today. I had like a huge sub, so it was it held on pretty great. I mean, I could use a touch-up, but I think for several hours, um, this is a pretty good look and kind of what I would expect out of my lip products. So I hope that that was a fun video to watch um, where you can relate to it in some way or, you know, you feel inspired to shop your collection. I'm going to do more videos like this, um, shopping my collection and kind of doing a wear test and, and letting you guys know at the end of the day if I'm keeping anything, if I'm getting rid of anything. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon.